man, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why a lot of these Christian pastors are full of shit. You know, they'll sit up and be praying over a congregation and they got prayer warriors and a prayer list and sick and shut in. And oftentimes a lot of these people are sick due to Christian pastors not teaching the fullness of the word. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about this too when I spoke about when I spoke about herbs. Let me show y'all the beast that we up against, right? Monsanto. If you don't know nothing about Monsanto, do your homework. Monsanto is one is the company that one of the company that created GMOs, right? Genetically modified organisms. These people done figured out a way to go into plants, right? And create it to where it don't reproduce, to where you got to go to them to buy the seeds. See, remember now. God put all this on earth for us. And I, I just just blow my mind for people who go to church every Sunday ain't out here protecting God's land. Oh, said it again, powered up. You see what, what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on. People it go to church no on sense. Sundays and not protecting yeah. God's land. People going Man, to church every day. What? All praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at an In Them Trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I'm gonna play a clip in here by Papa Duck, and uh, he drops a he drops a nugget in here. He says, "Man, all of these Sunday worshipers go into church, but aren't protecting God's land." And he's talking about all of this GMO, genetically modified organisms, and food, and how you know one particular group has blackballed the rest of the market to where, you know, if you buy something, it won't reproduce and you have to get the seeds from them. And this is where I thank the most high y'all for Shepherd Dow, you know, and my 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 my, my brother, uh, Ock Pierce, because, man, I didn't been to so many Christian churches. I didn't watch, back when I was in Christianity, man, I was watching T.D. Jakes, you know, you watching Stephen Furtick, Michael Todd, uh, even old people like Joel Osteen and you have all these old people giving you their money and you're never telling them how to get uh, you really don't even hear them talk about deliverance a lot of these Christian pastors don't even talk about casting out devils casting out demons let alone you know the church is they'll read scriptures about sowing seeds but they're talking about money these pastors, man, you know, are in full support of you living in transgression, all with the day they keep. So it is a very deceptive day because they keep Sunday, which is not the seven day Sabbath. You look in your calendar, Sunday is the first day of the week. So they use that first day sun worship, Nimrod worship, Tammuz worship, you know, to pretty much keep you blinded. See, a lot of these people could have healing in their life and get off some of these medications, quit having some of these health issues as pastors taught the fullness of the book. But because they don't live Torah, because they're anti-law, they will never experience the healing. You know, I have been in churches where they would sit up and charge the congregation uh, in order to pay for concerts they be selling pulled pork sandwiches. Knowing that uh, pork is unclean. And we see in the beginning of the book, it's unclean. And then when you go to Revelations, the Most High Yah lets you know it's unclean. You can read in the Maccabees, the heathen was, uh, you know, pretty much sacrificing swine's flesh. And then Jezebel, she got, she got dealt with for... Uh, leading the servants of the Most High Yah astray and to eat food sacrificed by idols. 
it's a certain food sacrificed to idols. You know, man, your church, I guarantee you is not gonna teach one agricultural. They're reading a Hebraic agricultural book that is the history of the Israelites. The Yah, the God of Israel, the, the Messiah, who they call Jesus. Yahshua Hamashiach said he came only for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He offered salvation to the Gentiles to make Israel jealous. You can read that. You can go back and fact check. But these pastors will get up and sow a seed in our ministry and never once teach people how to grow their own food. The word says the herbs are for healing. It talks about it. The, 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 the word gives the precept of build you houses and plant you gardens. Live in them, dwell in them. Eat good of the land. These pulpit pimps is not teaching you that. All these Stacy Adam jokes, I don't give a dang if it's Geno Jennings, T.D. Jakes, Sarah Jakes, Joel Osteen, Michael Todd, Stephen Furtick, Joyce Myers, you name them. If they in Christian, it doesn't matter. They're not teaching you this. They're keeping you, uh, and then what happens is when you get sick and start having all these issues, uh, they want to get some more money out of you, do an altar call, sacrifice you on a, on an idol altar. You can read about this in the Maccabean period and pray over you, pray over these medications when the answers is in the book. The answers is in the book. This stuff that they're producing and putting out now is not good for your body. And they're telling you, they're blatantly telling you, it's genetically modified organism. Papa Doug said all these people going to church, but they ain't protecting the land. These people going to church to get their ears tickled. It don't matter if it's apostolic, uh, Pentecostal, assemblies of God, you know, house of prayer, non-denominational. These folks is not teaching people how to get free. They'll sit up uh, and, and consider themselves good pastors when they're really leading the sheep astray. They'll sit up uh, and be in a church that's almost paid off and go get the church in more financial debt to get a bigger building. When the word says the borrower is slave to the lender, they'll sit up uh, instead of telling people, hey, we don't need your money, put that towards getting out of debt, come out from among them, no. They'll get up and give, and give it all kinds, of, well, God will bless me with a half a million dollar house that's financed. That wasn't his will. Man, these Christian pastors, these uh, Roman Catholic pastors, they will keep you in bondage. It's not till you get around those that are doers. It's not until you get around the remnant. You know, man, I came across one pastor, one pastor that convicted me to actually do what's in the book. The rest of them cherry pick. They cherry pick the word. Shepherd Dow and my aunt Pierce, you know, I saw the videos. They were very convicting seeing the remnant live off the land, live on community. Then I met my brother, Aunt Pierce, showing me how to uh, slowly get towards having a green thumb, you know, be able to uh, produce your own vegetables, your own fruits. I'm telling you, man, these people better quit spending so much money on damn church clothes and go buy you some fruit trees. Go buy you some heirloom seeds. Don't let up and let these damn pulpit pimps sit up and deceive you talking about sowing a seed and you constantly got to go to the grocery store uh, to buy this food that's killing you. Buy this lab meat, this fake meat. Stuff that don't have no seeds in it. I'm telling you, man, you got, you have uh, them trying to push this on the masses because it's part of the B system. Pushing this Christianity, keeping people stuck. When all you got to do is follow the book. Follow the book. Seek the most high Yah's face. And I guarantee you, you'll realize you are wasting your money giving it to these damn pulpit pimps.
men or women. Your first lady, I'm telling you, you don't even need to do no damn pastor's appreciation because both your pastor and his wife probably sorry as shit. They, they are the one you go to for spiritual guidance, but you ain't getting no healing out of it. And how are you getting any healing out of it if the laws of the Most High Yah let you know where you need the correction and they're teaching anti-law. The law is done away with. These mother can't tell you why Messiah was the perfect example because he kept the law. That's why they didn't find no sin in him. I'm telling you, man, a lot of these pastors, the word says, woe to the pastor that scatters the sheep of my flock. Man, you didn't led astray the people and haven't visited them. Most of y'all let you know he going to visit you for your works. And this is why it lines up in Revelation. When you look at the beginning of Revelation, all these churches get called out. You are neither hot nor cold. You're lukewarm, giving ear ticklish message, letting Jezebel get up in there and teach. And she calls herself a prophetess. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, people are being put into bondage when they truly have the desire to find healing and these pastors are not giving it to them. Ask your pastor, you think I'm playing? Ask your pastor why we ain't doing this. How come you always can teach about tithes every damn Sunday, but you can't talk about teaching the people how to be set free from this system that will oppress them, that will keep them sick? Ask your pastor, how come we ain't actually sowing seeds? These pastors act like uh, you cannot get out here and get in the sun and plant stuff. You know why? Because they lazy as shit. They lazy as shit. Your grandmama being down there, your grandmama had diabetes, high blood pressure, all this stuff, and you think about it, and ain't nobody teaching her about how to have a nutritious diet according to the book. The pastor won't do it. He'll say she was a faithful tither, she was on the prayer team, and he the one keeping her in bondage. He the one, you gotta think, man. There's so much more that because, you know, 300 some years after the, the, the death burial and, and resurrection of Messiah, these Roman Catholics put a divider in the book. They put a divider in there. Said this is the old, this is the new. And they don't have people looking at the front of the book to understand how much uh, healing there is if you it says be a doer of the word and not a hearer only unless you're deceiving yourself a lot of these pastors have deceived them damn self rather than rather than you know uh keeping the commandments and in which they teach people to profane the sabbath transgress against the commandment you got to think about all this money they can let i told you i did a uh there's a couple churches in Texas that I did uh, an analysis on and I showed you what their yearly revenue was based upon public data. And they ain't taking none of that money. You would think these churches would have uh, fields, as much money as they make it, 120 million a year. You would think that they would have land and be growing their own food. Papa Duck said it best. You got all these people going to church, but ain't none of them protecting God's land. You know why? Because they full of shit and the pastor ain't helping them not be full of shit. He's keeping them in deception and keeping them in vain religion, worthless religion. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing gun barrel straight. Pow.